Hello everyone, my name is Hao Hao Yan and I'm the writer director for the speech. I'm Anton Shavlik, I'm the cinematographer for the speech. I'm Kihi, I'm the production designer of the speech. My name is Luki Zhao, I'm the editor of the speech. The speech is a story about three moments of realization for three girls. It is a very personal story for me. Uh, a lot of it was based on my own experience. When I was eight, I got locked inside my school for about three months due to the SARS epidemic. During that time, because Beijing was under a lockdown and most schools have sent their kids home but because my school was very close to this hospital that the government built for the SARS patients the school was worried that once we release all the kids we're all gonna be in danger so the school instead decided to lock us all in to keep us safe everything that happens in the movie actually happened Right, so casting and location were definitely our biggest challenges. The most difficult part for our department is that we're trying to bring the audience back to 20 years ago in China elementary school. So we have to find a nice location to fit our needs in Los Angeles. That was the hardest part for cinematography as well. We ended up breaking the locations up into several different high schools and elementary schools and stitching them all together. And I think it was a challenge to kind of visualize on the location scouts how these were going to work to be part of the same world that these kids were in. The craziest thing I remember is we have three company moves, classroom, and hallway, and the exterior of the, uh, of the school. So it's, it's kind of like we have to solve the, this puzzle um, to uh, split the crew into three groups. They all working in the same time. For casting, we started with kid actors we know, which were very limited, but through them, we get to know their families, their friends, and you know their school friends, and maybe they go to a after-school class, and we go to that after-school class to see more kids. And it's just one of those things that you have to keep doing it until you find it. Another, another big challenge for us was that Shooting on film means that we're not going to be able to see dailies every night. We were planning on watching the footage after it's being developed and scanned, which took three days. Then we had to wait for another day to back it up before we can work on it. Waiting to see your dailies was very nervous to make sure that uh, everything was there and it was looking good and it wasn't, uh, I hadn't destroyed all of our work. There was one shot in the movie that is not on film. We see a wide shot of the auditorium with all the kids. Uh, we actually couldn't get enough kids on set, so we had about 60 kids, and then we had to move them around and, and put green screens behind them. We ended up doing seven or eight passes of the audience with kids sitting in different places and stitching them all together, and then going back and re-rendering that to look like the film we had been shooting on. Yeah, we were very lucky that we had a very long pre-production, so we were able to do a test scene before we actually go into the production. With an early version of the script, we shot one of the scenes and we wanted to explore making the, the film feel more like a documentary than, than like a narrative uh, short. And try to make people believe that these are real people and real lives and not, not just characters created for the screen. It was during the test scene that we set up this visual language, this very observational but also intimate moments with these characters. So I really wanted the master shots to be kind of like a security camera, which was really far away and impersonal and kind of oppressive. We follow them throughout their day, we see what they see in their world. And at the end, we get to have an intimate moment with them. And hopefully through each story, it's subtle enough that uh, we slowly bring you into their headspace. A lot of the extras bring in more layers to the movies. Like I didn't give them instructions, they were just being kids and doing whatever they were doing. During the production, I tried to not pay too much attention to over-direct them and just let it be. Also make sure they have enough time to play with each other before we shoot the film so that they all know each other, they're naturally friends or they're naturally enemies. So there's this dynamic insight to these people. The director and I worked on uh, another project about a year prior and in the cast holding room, which was in a high school, there was trees outside and the light came through on like a low afternoon sun and put these really beautiful shadows all across the room. And that was an image that we kept coming back to, this beautiful shadow play on the wall in a classroom. And that was really ins inspirational to the scene with the mercury. From the start of the project, I knew that I want to work with 60 millimeter film. It's a really good way to bring people back to that time, it has this nostalgic look. I almost want to make this film look like that it was shot in early 2000 and it's just we're watching it right now. 